Many of you have undoubtedly seen the Season 1 weapon prototypes the devs have shown off a while ago. Of course, they didn't show all of the prototypes, but they did show most of them. For this installment, I'll revisit a different iteration of the old prototypes, some leftover overclocks, and unused equipment. Starting with... Jetpack. I've mentioned this thing in the past, and now we get to see it in action. Pressing left mouse simply activates the jetpack, allowing the player to slowly fly up for a short period. And the thrusters actually do come out of the back instead of the feet. That's really about it. Well... Except for it having its own inventory slot for each class at one point. Rocket Rifle, a recolored zipline gun. This was the original idea for Engineer's Season 1 primary weapon, before they switched to the Lock 1. It burst fires free rockets in the vein of an assault rifle. While it's not the most original idea, this weapon is decently effective. Keep in mind it has no upgrades whatsoever, and I test on Hazard 3 for the perfect balance. Laser Pistol. A strangely textured Burt. It's another burst fire weapon for the driller. Appears to be his original concept for a secondary weapon. It burst fires an accurate laser for about a third of a second and oh boy is this thing weak. Prototype Shard Diffractor. A green cryo cannon. It burst fires a powerful continuous laser. Thankfully, they got rid of the burst fire late into development and slapped it onto some overclocks for balancing. From this version of the prototype, it seems as though it was considered for the gunner. Makes you wonder what it could have been. But I really love this thing on Engineer. When it was given back to NG, they turned it into a textureless orb. Prototype Wave Cooker. An early, less detailed model of it. This also burst fires a gamma ray. Have you noticed a pattern yet? The devs were obsessed with burst fire weapons for whatever reason. Glad they decided against it. It had no overheat meter but it would need to be reloaded in this build. I do like the lazy boomer shooter style reload animation. Prototype Hurricane, an untextured compact version of it. Save for some debugging elements for rocket tracking, it behaves very similarly to the end product, and was definitely going through its overpowered phase. Prototype Lock 1, a simplistic and blue version of it. It has the most basic visuals in place for the smart bullet tracking and an annoying sound every time it does lock on. When it eventually fires, guess what? It burst fires free bullets into a target that it's tracking. There's also a cool little detail of the gun's barrel pointing at enemies it's shooting at. Syncs up with the concept notes. Prototype Coil Gun, a simplistic green gun. This is pretty much an underpowered version of what we got. It can still penetrate enemies, but doesn't leave any trails nor does it dig out a small hole into the terrain. Also seems to not care whether or not you're shooting at weak points. As for the other weapons, they didn't change that much to be worthy of an early showcase. I guess I can quickly show that Drac had a lot more spin the action. Moving on to the overclocks. First things first, most of these were either reworked, merged, or renamed by the time the update was out. Most notably, Shard Diffractor's safety mechanism was put onto the base weapon. But here are the leftover overclocks I felt were worth a mention. Glycerin Mixture. This overclock completely changes the charge shot's functionality. When charged, it fires a textureless orb into the air which floats in place. Kind of like a balloon. Once something collides with it or too much time passes, it'll explode into goo. Charge Mechanism. It's kind of like the Salvo module, except the missiles still seek the crosshair. Looking at this Praetorian clip, I can see why the developers didn't want for the charge shot to have guided missiles. Buckshot. This overclock upon firing instantly releases 9 missiles in a wide spread. But it takes a long while before you can fire again. Because there's this unexplainable long delay before I can actually reload the gun. Can make the easy assumption that this and charge mechanism were merged to make salvo module. High velocity stabilizer. It makes the missiles ultra fast at the cost of the seeking action which would be redundant at this speed anyway. It's bordering on becoming a hitscan weapon. Even when shooting up the drop pod hole, it doesn't take long for the missile to hit the top. Dense Particle Accelerator. This overclock greatly nerfs everything just to make it so the laser penetrates enemies. Its effectiveness isn't that great, especially when compared to what you can get out of it with AoE damage. The developers decided to drop penetration stuff entirely for the weapon. Ionizer Ray. 
applies a weakened effect to targets. As of this video, it's an unused status effect. Creatures bearing this effect are slowed down and take extra damage. Kind of like the IFG grenade but turned into a status effect. Radiation Burn. This applies burn damage to targets. Shield Overload Charger. Similar to that one shield-oriented overclock on Drac, but reversed. Whenever the shield is broken, the gun receives an overcharge boost for a limited period. But I suspect this overclock isn't functional, because when my shield breaks, nothing seems to happen. For documentational purposes, I'll show the rest of the cut overclocks in the equipment terminal. It'll mainly be the ones I deemed uninteresting, or they just didn't work. Sonic Boom would significantly increase the coil gun trail's damage radius. Dirt Sensitive Compound would slightly increase goo puddle size and lifetime. Butcher Rounds was reworked into Plasma Burster Missiles. EWM Warhead just grants a bonus damage to electrified targets. Unstable Fuel Mix was turned into a regular upgrade. Improved Barrel Stability, a clean overclock offering various small buffs. Hunter's Choice, a clean overclock for tiny damage increases. Insurance Policy, a small ammo increase. Wide Angle Lens lets you lock onto more targets but slower. Enhancer Module would increase the lock-on range but also make it slower. Overcharged Capacitor increases heat and AoE damage for a shorter burst fire. And Super Focus Lens was made into a clean overclock. Phew! Alright, that's it. That's most of them.